Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the adventures of Tardy Penis. Oh, yeah. Uh, so... Plot got really, 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 really thick last, uh, last episode. And today, we're gonna be pulling on some strings. I've been thinking a lot. I've been reading a little on the wiki just because I was feeling a little stuck. But there's some things we can do. So, let's go back down into the city and let's finish exploring the houses. We're allowed to break into the houses, so... Uh, that is the simplest way of doing it. I forgot I can probably exit any one of these, yeah. And just jump off, my bad. But I've also read that, uh, so we're going to be finishing looking at these houses, but then I also read that you can use the time loop a second time. So say if you break it, break continuity, go back in time to your original time, and then you can still jump through that portal. That might work for some things like... Uh, killing someone with that dwarven armor. But. Okay, have we checked? Whose house have we checked? Gulliver's? I probably should have checked what time it is. Oh yeah, this is the one where it's his axe. That's right, we could probably take that and plant it on someone. Probably not, though. Doesn't really matter. Don't want to, for sure. Uh, let's... T... Because they're all going to be in their houses, so, uh, which I don't want. Okay, there we go. Everybody's out and about. We checked this house, I believe. Yeah, I believe there was nothing in here. Noids of Skyrim. Yeah, this one was clean, I believe. Pretty much just gonna be recapping them all. What we've done so far. This one I definitely know that we've done because he's, uh... Oh, hello, sir. I'm gonna have to take that from you one day. Uh, we did search that building. We haven't searched this building. This is Vernon's house. Anything out of the ordinary here? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. He wasn't a huge suspect in my mind anyway. He was kind of getting bullied. So we searched his place. Let's search this place. Ah, this is the couple's house. Okay. Looks like they have their own separate bedroom. Neat. A lot of bread. They have a third bed? Why would they need a third bed? That's a bit of a suspicion. Are they a thruple? Is there a thruple? Or do they have a kid? Who knows? Moving on. This is the Golden Sentinel Tavern. We actually have not been here. I forgot about the ta tavern completely. She said during the nighttime, that's pretty much where everyone is. Well, it's a pretty big pub, so that's good. Have the high table. Okay. Nothing major here, it seems. Just some stoves for cooking. Cups ale. Potato moonshine. Cool. I don't think I'm going to be finding anything in here. 
Neat little place, though. So then, what's next on the list? This house is whose? Brandass. I don't remember a Brandass. Hey, uh oh. Okay. Oh, Brandis's will. Uh, make this will. I leave all my worldly possessions, including my immaculate dwarven boots, to whoever is willing to continue my mission to rid this place of the evil that lies buried beneath the city. May Sindar's blessing protect you. Oh, oh, there they are. Dwarven immaculate boots. It looks like he's you there. Come over here. Oh, My... he's alive still. What? That doesn't matter now. I don't have much time. I just need you to listen to me. The others all think I'm mad. What do you want to tell me? Stendar. He plants these images in my head. He shows me secrets. Made me come here. What did you see? Something terrifying. Deep in the earth beneath the city. Powerful and evil. I went down into the tunnels to destroy it. But really? the energy, it seeps into your bones. Please, please, you must find a way to get down there and finish what I, I, uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, oof, head bandages, give me those, Lamau. I'm carrying too much and I cannot run. Stash materials. Okay, that gave us plenty. Okay, yeah, that gave us like 50, 59 pounds. Well, now we've got a whole other thing to look at. So we have the boots, we have the helmet. We saw the gloves in there. I'm gonna go check that out again because I heard something through the grapevine about that place. So we're going to go follow up on that. And then I think we'll leave Rikard for last. Okay. Now, sorry, I took a drink. Someone said that these coffins are surprisingly stackable. Fuck me. I fucked it right at the end. Oh my god, I fucking did it. Holy shit, took me half an hour, but I fucking got it. Now the dwarven gloves. Now we can explore this place, finally. Hold on, let me fucking get my goddamn timer back since it fucking locked my phone. I was doing that so long. Okay, well that's a problem. Oh, hello everyone. Cursed horror or charred horror. 
Let's char you up some more, baby. Is that just an empty pool of you guys? You'd think that water would have helped you. Why are you just hitting Wanathan? Stop it. He's your brother. Leave your brother alone. Master unlock, eh? We'll check that out in a second. Can you stop? There's more things to fight over here. Burnt horror. Another charred corpse. Okay, and there's another thing. Is there anything in there? Just a soul gem? Just a dagger? Just a book, it looks like? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do from here. Take those. I forgot that that does not give me... Uh, oops. XP. So unlocking those is all good. Take that soul gem. See if I want to take this dagger. Nope. Oh, you've got a phantom bow. That's cool. Let's go back. Let's explore the, um, first thing over here. This master lock. Give me one second. Got it. Time to end your foolish array. Okay, we all stop fighting. Comes for us all. Okay, Wanathan, I'm putting you in your Pokeball for now. Your life ends here. I don't know why y'all are aggro to each other, but no longer. Okay. Now that you've had your time out. Are we cool? Lady, gentlemen, let's go upstairs. Let's see what's hiding up here. Another chest, glass armor of conquest. That sounds sick as fuck. Take up to 18% less damage from enemy attacks. The further their health falls below 50%. Interesting. Display case, dwarven dagger of freezing. Don't need it. Oh, goody. More enemies. And another... No way? Oh my god. Brilliant. Yeah, here he comes. Why am I just running in a straight line? You really gonna fight me barehanded, bro? Burnt handed, bro? Alright, let's check over here first. That guy was okay. I get to pick all these locks for fun. Take scroll of calm. Yes, lock picking experience for the win, dude. Take that, whatever that is. Oops. Cool. Just gonna be unlocking all the things. Really? Take all the scrolls. Now let's search. Okay. There's an upstairs. There's there. There's more things to follow up on over here. These are not locked, any of them. The hell is that? Dwarven arrow. Okay. Master unlock. Okay. And there's more up there place is huge. I'm assuming this goes back down to the other 
pathway we saw. Oh well. You are not welcome here. Cool. Okay. And then wasn't there one over here that was down? Yeah, this one went down. Let's check out the down first. Okay, got him. Okay, bats. And we got a maze of bullshit. Okay. Hello. There you are. Cool. I hope there's something at the end of this tunnel. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, there's a big fire in the middle of the room. Read Necromancer's journal. Oh. Show the book to Brawl as proof the dwarves' law is real. Take that. Okay. Oh shit, that scared the fuck out of me, your big spider. Ah, and a master chest? Adapt chest. Good enough. Got it. Is there anything in here I actually need? No. Okay. Excuse me, you're spooky. And then we can hopefully just jump over this right back to it, eh? All right, so now we've explored everything there is to explore down in the dungeon. It's time to go back up. And then we'll see what's at the top of this place. Okay. Okay, those were closed. Then there was this over here. Looks like some sort of prayer thing. Okay, seven septum. Uh-oh. Fight going on in here. Damn, you probably would have been super scary to me had I not put off this quest for Aeon eons. Okay, there he is. That works. Okay, cool. So let's go up. See what's up here. Excavation site. Dink, 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 dink. Drink, 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 drink. Okay, burnt corpse. I have no idea what this fucking thing does. Oh, it hurts like fuck though. What did that say? Strange energy radiates all around you. Okay, so that's... Same thing. I guess that's the laws. Okay, weird. There's a chest that requires a key!
Ah. You just had to sit in it. That released the key. It released the chest. Well, this was a whole lot of nothing. I did get the gloves. And quite a few other fun stuff. So we're going to head back out. Uh, well, I'm going to try to head back out. I actually don't know how to get out of here. Can I go through the way I came? Oh, oh excuse me. Can I go through the way I came? I don't even know. Or is there something down here I can go through? Yeah, it looks like... Uh, this looks pretty blocked off, chief. Well, that's no good. Now I gotta find a way out of this place. Hey, uh oh. Oh, this is a new chest. Yo. Master unlock again. Okay, this goes even higher. Okay, good to know. And there's the exit. But I still have more stuff to loot, so hold up. Wait a minute. Hey. What does that give me? Dwarven Whip of Scorching. Oh, another Dwarven excavation site? I wonder if those reset after like a couple of days or something. This looks like a very nice eatery. That's blocked off for some reason. Master unlock blood everywhere display case expert okay bow of ire target is consumed by ammer anger taking seven points of damage magic damage for 10 seconds until the oh until it attacks or casts a spell that's weird but okay here's another master lock that we can unlock Ah, uh, this is going to take a second. Okay. Now, does this go somewhere different? Because it says the Forgotten City and the other one was over there. Okay. No, it looks like this was just the regular other place to get out from. So I'm assuming we're supposed to jump down into the water, but I kind of want to see... Nah, it doesn't look like it. Okay. So we're gonna go wee all the way home. And then I thinking we're gonna kill Riker. Rikus? I wanna kill Rikus. So should I probably do it in his house? See if he's home and do it there so that none of the others get mad at me. But if I do this and I get sent to my old timeline, I believe there was a way to use the uh, thing again. Yeah, here he is. Is my fucking penis poker not charged? No, it's not. Dude's okay. It super, super was. Unable to run. Okay, so now we're going to... Ah, damn. I can drop that. How much weight am I over by? Four? 
four, wait. I have the Immaculate set now. That's good. I don't need those. Nordic Gauntlets I need, Wreck of Rose I don't. All right, well, seems I'm good to go. Now, now that everyone's gonna die, Now, said, yeah, follow him to him making the portal. Oh, no. Yeah, everyone's going to die. He's going to run in here. He's going to make the portal. And then I'm going to be able to go use the portal to go back in time and keep my items, I believe. Yeah, he's going to write that down. Use his portal All again. The living shall fear the dead. Strange door. You must stop this from happening. Soon you will know the cold of death. Wait, who's there? The endless sleep comes for us all. Okay, well. Okay, that should be good. Eternal slumber. Now we're gonna use the strange door again and go back in time. Okay, and he should have cost me again, right? Hilda, where did you come from? I just arrived. Strange. It looks like you just came out of the Yarl's private lake house. <laughs> yeah, I got lost. Well, just make sure you don't get lost in anyone else's home. Live by our laws here, and we'll all get along just fine. Your laws? We they know this. I'm anymore. gonna be skipping through this. Follow me. Ah. Okay. No, so we're back. Please don't walk away from me. Uh, I did the opening again, where he walks us and introduces us to Security Arl. But this lady, I'm pretty sure, wanted to know I about no the, the Immaculate Dwarven we, armor we have. Are you kidding? Why would I Need help with your trouble? research? There's a big Nord. I need that armor. The trouble is, before I... I've tried... The only thing I haven't tried is violence. Do you mean this armor? Oh my! You've got it already? That's... That is amazing! How did you... No, don't tell me. I don't think I want to know. Now let's see here. What can you tell me I about it? I confirmed my suspicion that this armor will help you withstand the harmful energy down in the tunnels. But I'm afraid it won't be enough. You'll need a full set of it. Hand, gauntlets, and boots. If you're going to get down there and really explore, I'm afraid I don't even know where to begin looking. But perhaps Bro will know more about the whereabouts of the other pieces. Okay. Well, that doesn't matter because we have them all. Which is cool. So now we are going to go down into the deeps and see what's ticking in there. Okay, we're finally here. I had to uh, kill those looters again, which I totally forgot about. Okay, finally down in the depths. Let's uh, put on all that armor. We're gonna look nice and snazzy with a little bit of blood on us. Okay. The helmet's not here anymore, eh? Interesting. Hey, okay, strain radiant. And I got the radiation existence. What the fuck is that thing? Magic anomaly? Death comes for you now. Done and 
Okay. Cool. Gold ore. Awesome. Boy, I do feel heavy at this fucking place. Or in this armor. Oh, noble. I'll take that. All right. Neat. Oh, more chickens. Okay, got a soul gem out of that. Two of them. Is that mushrooms? Yeah, don't matter. Is that mushrooms? Yeah, don't matter. Let's keep going, keep going down, down, down. God damn it, more of these fucking things. Okay, more soul gems. I feel super slow in this armor. Ooh, an excavation site. Cool, cool. Okay. Now let's see here. This probably means that it's towards the end, right? Yeah, we got that big glowy bit. Oh, and a door, it seems. Enter Dwarven Dome. Okay, hello? Hello? Oh, this looks sick as fuck. The ah, Arbiter. And here you are. I've been waiting for you, Dova King. You know who I am? Of course. To me, your memories are an open tome. To begin with, I know you have trespassed countless times against others of your kind. Lucky guess. And I know you are a brazen thief, compulsively stealing from your own kind, without remorse or restraint. <laughs> Live? Is that all? I know you have harvested the souls of the Dover, hoarding them, twisting them into an unnatural weapon against your enemies. All right, you got me. I also know you have come from the future. And why is that? Is your desire for power so great that you would break even the laws of time for it? It makes no difference. You will not take it from me. You would not be so foolish as to break my law. Actually, I'm not interested in your power. I see the kind of person you are. My law is the only thing keeping you and your kind from descending into chaos. You mean the dwarves law? I mean my law. I made it. Because your kind would be incapable of order, of peace, without it. So that would make you... That makes me the Arbiter. I am also the Founder. I discovered this site millennia ago, and the deposit of Ethereum beneath us. I laid the foundations, and I watched my children grow and learn and use the Ethereum to create marvels, technological wonders. But they grew quarrelsome and used their knowledge to create weapons to use against their own kind and worse, their own father. So I confiscated their weapons 
and declared my law that each and every one of my children would live in perfect order, or they would not live at all. And here I am, millennia later, still waiting for children worthy of this city. And for my patience, it seems my reward is a visit from you, Dovahkiin. Well, why have you traveled through time to come here? What is it you seek? Actually, I have some questions for you. Enough talk. It's time for you to die. It's time to put it into your law. Metellus's crimes have escaped your sight. Speak plainly. What crimes has this self-proclaimed Yarl committed? Metellus is keeping a woman prisoner in a citadel where you can't see it. I see you believe what you are saying. It seems my misgivings about your kind were justified. Ah, oh, fuck. He and his subjects must all be purged. Now, well. while I commend your honesty, I am afraid you too must be punished. For my law must be upheld. Goodbye, Dover King. Oh shit, a boss fight? Alright. No. Ouch. Arbiter's helmet. Okay, ow, 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 ow. Okay, ow, 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 ow. Okay, so that didn't go as planned. So now I think we're going to do another time loop. And we're going to try to persuade him to let his laws go. That seems like the, the best option. But it's good to know that it's a boss fight. Pretty cool. I probably maybe shouldn't have said that thing about the, the guy. But if we, if we're able to persuade him to take his laws down and then we then uh, tell the people about the Jarl, maybe? Interesting. Very interesting. We'll see how it goes. Can you put your fucking spear away, please? Thank you. Now, what does the Arbiter's Helmet do? The Arbiter's Helmet allows the wearer to cast continuous shock spells effortlessly, but the power is blinding. That's weird. I'll have to uh, save my game and check that out. Well. Okay, so round three. I think for now we're not gonna you there. Where did you come from? You what know we've you had talk? this conversation before. I've never met you. You're right, my mistake. Um you're a strange one, aren't you? Now are you going to tell me why it looked like you just came out of the yard's private? There's a time robot? portal in there. Oh, I see you're a little bit crazy. Well, you're in good company here, my friend. Lots of us were thinking. Seriously, what is today's the date? First day of last seed, I believe. What year? I guess you hit your head pretty hard coming down the shaft, huh? It's the 194th year of the Fourth Era, of course. Look, you seem a little. You know. So I'll make this nice and simple for you. Live but by our laws, it'll be just fine. Your laws. You okay. More. No oh, thanks, I'll make my own way. And if you have any questions about this place, I talk to Bro okay. to know a lot about the Now we go back inside and tell him to stop. 
All right, I'm back, you big bitch. You know who I am. Lucky guess. What's this? It's your helmet. I'm gonna kill you. Take it from you after. Uh uh. Does not belong to you. It's. Uh. That's definitely not true. Liar. <laughs> Is that all? I know you have harvested the souls of the Dover. All right, you got me. I, it makes no difference. You mean the dwarves I laws? Mean, my law. I made it because you. So that would make you the arbiter, me. founder. Yep. I laid the foundations and I watched my children grow and learn. But so. Well, why have you traveled through time to come here? What is it you seek? I have some questions for you. Ah, if only you could read my memories as I read yours. Very well. Ask your questions. So you're willing... To... So you're the one killing all these people. How long have you been down here? That's all the question I have. How long how have you survived this long? What happened to the rest of the Dwemer people? Ooh. It is not my place to reveal that. Come on, to dude. You, Dover King. But when they moved on from this world, I was left behind. You see, the energy that has sustained me all this time, it anchored me here. I could not leave this place if I wanted to. Say so the one killing all these people. You flock here, your kind, like moths to a flame, driven by greed and the lust for power. You are warned about my law, and when you disobey, and you always disobey. You force my hand, bringing death upon yourselves. So you ask if I am the one killing your kind. And I say no, you kill yourselves. Fair enough. I am merely the means by which you do it. <laughs> okay. How have you survived all this time? You wish to be ageless like me. No, I'm just truth, curious. Time passes differently in here. It would take an eternity just to explain it to you. How long have you been down here? Two thousand years in your terms. But time is different down here. I count time in waves, generations, civilizations. You and your kind up above are number 322. Okay, well that's all the questions I had. So I see. Now, state your purpose here. We are gonna try to persuade this guy. It's time to put an end to your law. Your words are tainted by your sins, Dovahkiin. Yet, I acknowledge your heroic deeds too. Slayer of the treacherous Encarno. Very well. I will listen. Like you, I tried to fix what didn't I didn't understand and made it worse. Choose your next words carefully, Dover King. What is it that you made worse? I tried to prevent the breach of the dwarves' laws, but in the end, I was the breach. Enough talk time to die. Actually, your law made everything worse. I blame you. No, you we're gonna take to responsibility. My law in the future, at least this explains why you traveled back in time. I was so focused on my bigger goal that I didn't see the bigger picture like you. I warn you, tread carefully. You become so fixated on peace and order that you've committed genocide. Everything I have done here, everything I have done, has
has been... has been... I... I... It's not too late to end this. I... No. I will not be talked into abandoning millennia of work by the likes of you. God damn it. I think it is time I silenced you. Damn it. Once and for all. Of course. Liar. And you kill me. That is not possible. And yet, I see you speak the truth. You have come unstuck from your own time. Your presence here is a natural Dovahkiin. Why have you returned with this grim trophy? Have you come simply to gloat of your foul deed? I want to put a stop to the dwarves' law. Do you comprehend what you are asking me to do? You, you are asking me to abandon millennia of work. The very thought of it aggrieves me, and yet... You have left me with no choice, have you? If I agree, I will destroy my life's work. But if I refuse, you will destroy me. Well played, Dovahkiin. You will have your wish. So you'll stop all this? I will stop. From this point forward, your kind will be free to live how they choose. In whatever chaos and squalor they create for themselves, I will destroy this Ethereum to ensure your kind can never exploit it. And you may all return to the world of man, should you wish. But I warn you, Dovahkiin, making these changes will create a paradox in time. The events that brought you here will never have taken place. What will become of you is difficult to predict, but that is the risk you have taken by interfering with the past. Now, are you ready? I'm ready to go. Let's get out of here. Goodbye, Dovahkiin. Okay, we're back. Altrice. Hey. You started me there. Wait. I know you. You do? You're... No, that can't be right. For a moment there, I thought you were... You know, the one the statue was meant to honor. You're Altris? Your sister has asked me to find you. Cassia! Oh, I completely forgot. I asked her to wait for me at the top of the lift, and... I guess I got so tied up in this place that I lost track of time. I'd better head back up and let her know I'm alright. Hey, um... Do you want to come with me? We can chat along the way. Alright, lead the way. Great. Follow me. Let's run back up, shall we? Don't want to keep my sister waiting any longer. Wow, you so built a statue for me. i wondering what I've been doing down here. I guess it's been... what? A few days. I'll be honest. I came down here looking for a hall I could unload on the next merchant I met. I just wasn't expecting to find a thriving city. And the history of this place is amazing. Did you know that up until about seven years ago, they had what they called the Dwarves Law? Apparently there were inscriptions warning that if one person committed a crime, everyone else would pay for it. But they were all trapped in the city with no way out, so they lived in fear that someone would break the law and get them all killed. Then, one day, a strange man appeared in the city out of nowhere. They say he just walked out of the lake house, like he owned the place. And he wore this spectacular dwarven armor. 
A lot like the armor you're wearing now, actually. And a few people saw him walk into this quarry, into a field of deadly radiation, like it was nothing. Like it hadn't killed people before him. And then, the ground started shaking, and golden statues were collapsing, and inscriptions were crumbling all over the city, all at the same time. There was a sun under the ground, which used to light up the entire town. Bursts in the flame and explodes. And strangest of all, the cavern roof opens up like the petals of a flower. And there's real sunlight for the first time in thousands of years. So of course, people start wondering, did he just walk down here and single-handedly dismantle whatever was keeping the dwarves all going? Who was he? Was he still alive? So Bro, the local scholar, goes down into the quarry to take a look. But now the whole place is empty, but all the way at the bottom, sitting alone in the darkness, is a statue of the stranger. Oddest tale I ever heard. Well, that's sick as fuck, dude. Honestly, holy shit. Is everyone alive, too, because of that? Did I get the goodest ending? Yo, look at that. Hey, I remember you. You're oh, far. After all this time. Have you been since the Dwarven Law was lifted? Can't complain, my friend. You know, not long after they executed Metallus, turns out he was behind Macy's disappearance. They made me Jarl. It was a bit of a shock, to be honest. But I guess they wanted someone who wasn't at all like Metellus. Jarl Galvar. Still sounds strange to me. And I guess I have you to thank for it. If you hadn't freed us from the Dwarves' laws, Ulrin could never have overthrown Metellus. So, thanks. I imagine you'll be moving on soon, but you'll always be welcome here. We even kept your chambers exactly as you left them. Cool. From Simple Potato Farmer. Oh, and there's children here now. Why? Rikus, Are you how have you been since the door was all listened? Now that I know I'm not being watched anymore. Still, someone has to protect this place, and that someone is me. So you might have taken down some old dwarves or whatever, but if you start any trouble here, you're going to find yourself toe-to-toe -to -toe with me. Well, that's good. I kind of do want to follow up on everyone, but we can do that later. Oh, hello. City guard. Cool dwarven, dwarven armor and city guard. What? Okay, weird. The display cases are still closed. And now it's an elevator. Are you coming? Oh, okay. That's how we're playing it, eh? Okay, my bad. Thank the gods you're all right. What kept you so long? I know, I know. Sorry, Cass. I lost track of time again. It's just that this city is so amazing. You have to come down with me and see it for yourself. I promise. It's perfectly safe. Well, all right. But first, let me thank our friend. Thank you so much for bringing him back in one piece. I really thought I'd lost him. I can't thank you enough. You're welcome. Now, I promised you a reward. This is something I always carry with me, and it's become very dear to me. I'd like you to have it. Thanks again. My brother and I are in your debt. 
Wow. What a quest line. No fucking wonder they fucking made it into a whole other game. Jesus Christ. I'm going to call it there because I've been playing for like two hours <laughs> and I got to edit it down. But holy hell, what a good freaking quest. I love this quest. And I'll see you in the next one.